So, we just need to make it rain. I can do that. Rain's much easier to make than plants. It's just water. Then, please, make it rain. Magic wand on Planet Bong. Make it rain loud and strong. Nothing is happening. Did the magic work? Yes, it worked. Look up. Clouds. Yes, and lots of them. And clouds mean... Coming back! Yay! Gosh, they're growing so fast! Yes, they needed water. The flowers look so pretty and smell so lovely. It's an alien paradise! Thank you so much. You have saved Planet Bong. It's all so lovely. An innocent, unspoiled world of nature. Gentle and beautiful in its loveliness. Yes. Right, lads. Back to work. What's happening? We are starting up our factories again. Supposed to make all that smoke? Yes, they always do that. How lovely. And now you can have your holiday. Uh, you know what? I think we'll just go home. Very well. I will take you home. <laughs> Next stop, Planet Earth. It may be some time before Gaston returns. After climbing down the mountain, he will have to journey through the jungle, cross the desert, swim the ocean before he arrives at the little kingdom. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> What's that? All the children and Fluffy Owl and Mr Elf all trapped at the top of a mountain, you say? <coughs> then this is a job for Old Grey Wolf. Ow! Lead the way, Gaston. Wow, wow. Is this mountain far? Still further? Oh, are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Wow, wow. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Uh -oh. Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I, I set off in, in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to! But he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm. Let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf! Don't touch the fudge cake! You'll be stuck to it forever! OK, let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. What about the gingerbread? Daddy dipped it in his coffee and it stayed dry. Let's see how waterproof it is. Amazing! The most waterproof substance known to man. These cakes must be locked away. They must never be eaten. Not eaten, no. But maybe they can be used for something else. I do hope I've made enough cakes. What if they need more for the cake stall? Trust me, they won't want any more cake. More cake, please. Really? Yes, as many 
as you can bake. And fudge cake. And gingerbread. Oh, goody. They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school, so you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Oh, they both taste equally revolting. So, the jam making is a draw. Hooray! And now, broomstick uh -huh. flying. <laughs> Mrs. Witch's turn. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Right, she's held on. Yay! Oh! She's riding the broom brilliantly. Hooray! I declare the broomstick riding a draw. Now for the, for spell, the spell contest. contest. Mrs. Witch, where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so polite and charming. She wants to put you in the old witch's home. And live in your house. You're right. Remember I'm cross. Remember I'm cross. Let the, Let the spells, spells begin. begin. The witch, the witch that, turns that turns the other, turns the other to, to stone, stone is, is the, the winner. winner. Remember I'm cross. Remember, I'm cross. Mrs. Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs. Witch to stone. Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fotheringill. Hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. Oh, hello, everybody. We're here to rescue you. And we've brought your shoes. Oh, my shoes! It's good to have them back. It's been very nice and peaceful down here. A bit like a holiday. But I will be glad to be back in my own little home. Father Gil! Father Gil! Ah, Daisy! Poppy! Uh, on the other hand, I think I'll stay here. Young lady, do you want to be rescued or not? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I'll make it easy for you. Yes? As queen, I command you to come back. Oh, well, in that case... Right. Mission accomplished. Let's go home. Back to the lift, everyone. Oh, no. Not that horrid lift again. My poor tummy. There is another way up. We can go by balloon. <laughs> Just need a basket. Abracadabra. All aboard. Goodbye, people of the underground. We bid you farewell, surface dwellers. See ya. Ah, oh, floating gently up in a balloon sounds lovely and relaxing. It certainly will be lovely and relaxing. If you can call hurtling through a volcano relaxing... Volcano? Of course! The volcano will take us straight up to the surface. Dad, I said no volcanoes! Oh, we'll be fine, as long as the volcano doesn't erupt. Whoops! Seems to be erupting. Ah, oh, well, here we go! Fog? 
That's bad. Can we go home now? No, oh, we've got more adventuring to do. I can see lights. It looks like another ship. Why, blow me down. That'd be the ship of my friend, Captain Squid. Ahoy there, Captain Squid. Funny, there's no one on deck. It's very quiet. Hello? Hello? Anyone home? Look, there's a meal on the table. It's still hot, but there's no one here. Meal on the table, but the boat's empty. This is certainly a mystery. Ooh. No one will never, ever know what happened to poor old Captain Squid. A mystery that will never be solved. Here's a note. Gone to bury treasure, back in five minutes. Oh, that solves it then. So, where do you think Captain Squid is? Hmm, where would you bury treasure around here? The end of the rainbow! The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow! That'll be the gold Captain Squid's burying! Come on, let's get after him! It's not getting any closer. That's the thing about rainbows. When you walk towards them, they go further away. We're not going to walk there. We're going to fly. Fly? But you're an elf. You don't have any wings. Yes, but I'm an elf with a parrot. Ah, he's a knight. Saddle up, shipmates. There's the pot of gold. Don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Palum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed, it's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Ugh. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Nanny! Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. <laughs> oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more? Oops! Jelly flood! They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and... Here they are, darlings. Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that gnome king. Look, he doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. Me too. From now on, I'm going to wear a sack. Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. 
And no offence, but that fancy whiffy waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name! Wise old elf. Do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr. Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. <laughs> Down. Oh, <laughs> if I must, bump your booze and wiggle your woo-ahs. Thank you very much. This boat is not for eating. What's happening? The octopus seems to be eating your boat. Quick, to the surface! Naughty octopus! Stop eating! Stop at once, I say! Ah! My boat! Eaten! I said this would happen! No, you said your boat would be eaten by Big Bad Barry, but it was eaten by a giant octopus. It's a disaster! Don't worry, I said I'd take responsibility, and I will. And? That's it! I've taken responsibility. Fine. Well, I hate to ask, but Nanny Plum, can you magic a boat up so we can go home? No. Why not? Because you said blah, 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 no magic, and you took my wand away, remember? Oh, yes, so I did. So, we're stranded here. No, I've just had a brilliant Mr Elf idea. I'll build a raft out of the wreckage. And we'll help you. Yes, Dad. We'll lash the pieces together with rope. There, finished. May I present Bunty 3? What's Bunty 3? This boat. Bunty 2 was prettier. It's not meant to be pretty. It's a raft. I know what a raft is. Where's the bathroom? Is it downstairs? Ah, there isn't a downstairs. Don't be too harsh on Nanny. She doesn't know as much about rafts as us sailors. By the way, where's the kitchen? Is that downstairs too? Yes, it's probably next to the sitting room. This is a raft. There aren't sitting rooms and kitchens and bathrooms. It's not very luxurious then, is it? No, it's not. But it will get us home. shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! <gasps> the top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion. Bleep, bloop! Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep! <laughs> it's the friendly aliens we met on the moon! Bleep, bloop, bleep! Hello, aliens! Bleep, bleep! Bleep, bleep! Bleep, bleep, bleep! Oh, look! They've got a baby alien! I am not baby! Whoops! Sorry, but you're so sweet and echo. I am oldest one here. We get smaller as we get older. Oh, we get bigger as we get older. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zyros. Take me to your leader. Uh, King Thistle is our leader. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing.
playing in the meadow. I hope it never changes. The meadow won't change. It's been here forever and always will be. What's that noise? Giants are coming! Quick, let's hide. It's only Lucy. The little girl we met at the farm. And her dad's with her. It's so pretty here. Yes, Dad. It's a shame we've got to dig it all up. Dig it all up? Why? To make room for the cows. Cows? In the meadow? They're ginormous. The cows can graze in this meadow. Oh. We just need to flatten these molehills. That's not a molehill. That's Gaston's house. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Gaston, they're going to flatten your house. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. You can come and live with me in the little castle. I'll put the cow shed over there. Oh, no. The cow shed will be right on top of my little castle. Don't worry, Holly. You and Gaston can come and stay with me in the great elf tree. And I'll put the cow manure over by those trees. Oh, that's where the elf tree is. What's manure? Cow poo! Oh, maybe I won't stay at the great elf tree. Thanks anyway, Ben. I'd better start building the fence. Psst! Lucy! Lucy! Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Your dad is putting his cows right where we live. Yes, isn't it terrible? You have to tell him to stop. OK, I'll tell him that elves and fairies live here. No, no! Big people must never know we live here. But I'm a big person and I know you're special. Good morning, Your Majesties. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no. Not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? OK. abracadabra tea bobba tea boo <laughs> What is it? It seems to be a box of burps, Your Majesty. No! Oh, that's disgusting! Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs Fig's magic school. Ooh, Mrs Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning, children. Good morning, wise old elf. This morning's lesson is called Why Elves Don't Do Magic. Who can tell me why elves don't do magic? Because we're elves. <laughs> yes, Ben, but can anyone tell me why we don't do magic? Because we're elves. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, but why don't we? Is it because... Magic always leads to trouble. Yes, Jake. We heard playgroups reopening. We didn't quite believe it, though. So what poor person is the new teacher? Ah, uh, me, actually. And I'm the assistant teacher. Tarquin's been really missing, playgroup. Tarquin like playgroup. So is Raspberry. <laughs> and Nettle. <laughs> Come in, children. Oh, she stung me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm your new nursery teacher, and this is my assistant, Mrs. Oh. She's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs. Elf. Relax, Mrs. Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> <gasps> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? 
gone. All gone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere. But I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? Bunny rabbits? Dinosaurs. Tarquin like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. So, they're making a Viking boat. We can make one too. Isn't that copying? Yes, Fleur, well done. That's called copying. Abracadabra, Viking boat. And to make it better than theirs, we'll make it bigger. Hello? Hello, Nanny Plum. How's your boat coming along? We finished. I magicked up a Viking boat. What? But we're building a Viking boat? Fancy that. We're both building Viking boats. Nanny Plum is building a Viking boat. Oh! She must have spied on us. Hmm. Two can play at that game. Who wants to be a spy? Me! 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 Barnaby Elf, you will be our spy. But first, you must look like a fairy. Two fairy wings held on with elastic, a toy wand, and a hat to cover your elf ears. But won't the fairies know it's Barnaby? No, they won't. I've got a disguise. Hello. Hello. I've just moved into the neighbourhood. I'm a fairy. What's your name? It's Barnaby. Oh, no, it's a uh, bamboo. I'm a fairy. <laughs> Oops. Um, I mean, uh, I'm a fairy. Well, come in. Say hello to Bamboo, everyone. Hello, Bamboo. Look, we're building a Viking boat. The elves are building one too, but ours is bigger. Ooh. You don't say much, do you, Bamboo? No. Um, I'm a fairy. <laughs> Mr Elf, would it be OK to pay you in buttons? Uh... No. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye! Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So how do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Ah, wise old elf. I'm looking for a job. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the elf job centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. 
Yes, sire. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <laughs> drop. <laughs> drop. 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 <laughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <laughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Uh. I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. This is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> Hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the Ant. <laughs> this is my school. Wow, so many big children. Stay hidden. We mustn't be seen. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Cookie. Today we are learning about wonderful things in nature. Like Fluffy, our hamster. Who knows what kind of animal Fluffy is? A hamster? Yes, but what sort of animal is a hamster? Oh, he's a mammal. Is he a mammal? Yes. Well done, Lucy. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Its proper name is Mesocriquetus auratus. Goodness. I think we'll just stick with Fluffy. Oh, no! Gaston smelt the bananas. He likes bananas. Gaston, here, boy. Stop! Come back. Nature is all around us, like this pretty little insect. Does anyone know what she's called? Gaston, and he's a boy. <laughs> Very funny, Lucy. Is it a ladybird? Yes, or well, you could call her a ladybug. And what does she eat? Gaston likes pies. And spaghetti bolognese. Pies and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ladybirds eat things like green flies. Let's keep the ladybird in this jar. Oh, no! Gaston's trapped. We'll let her go later. I hope Gaston will be all right. Don't worry. I'll get him out of the jar. But you'll be seen. It's all right, Ben. I'll be very careful. Miss Cookie, there's a fairy walking across my desk. A fairy? Let's have a look. Nanny, the teacher's coming. Pretend to be a toy. Oh, yes, I'm a toy. Oh, a little fairy godmother. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny. Hello, you two. Ah! A baby dragon. His name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon. Ah, isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? 
On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish. Yes. Or what about a... Dragon! Dragon alarm! Fire-breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree is in danger! Dragons breathe fire! I'm Dolly Plum. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> I didn't know the twins had a Nanny Plum doll. Mm, they don't. I think that is Nanny Plum. That's right. It is me. Can you please turn me back? Poor Nanny. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Not all this noise again. Couldn't you be a dolly for a while just to keep them quiet? No way. I have a lot of work to get on with. There's the washing and the iron. <laughs> Dolly Plum! Dolly Plum! <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Carry on, Nanny. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. <whistles> oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good idea, Ben. Wise old elf, can you make a nanny plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly plum. <laughs> ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. Pyramids, waterfalls, fountains, great statues of ancient gods, and treasure. Oh, where is it? In the jungle, far, far from here, a long and dangerous journey. All right, off you go then. Try and be strong, my sweetheart. I will return. Ugh. Take your time. You don't want to rush the lost city. Anchors away! Good luck, Redbeard! Thank you! But a pirate doesn't need luck. I laugh in the face of danger. Farewell! Bye! Oh! Poor Gaston. He's missing Redbeard already. <laughs> this is the life. I love adventures. Aha! I think I see the jungle! Lost City, here I come! Oh. What is it, Gaston? He's worried about Redbeard. Oh. Don't worry, Gaston. Redbeard would call us if he got into trouble. <coughs> Hello? I found it, Nanny Plum! The Lost City! Oh, jolly good. Only thing is, I've hit a bit of bad luck and I'm in terrible danger. I thought you laughed in the face of danger. I do, normally, but I'm trapped. The ropes from my airship are tangled up in the jungle. We'll come to your rescue, Redbeard. Yes. Don't feel you must. I can survive here. I'll eat the odd leaf and drink dewdrops to survive. Oh. I could probably last a couple of weeks that way. Unless a snake gets me first, of course. We won't let that happen. The elves are coming. <coughs> and 
friends of the fairies. Giants are coming! Giants are coming! What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, Dad, I just saw two huge big people coming this way. Ah, big people with their big feet. And you never know where they're going to step with those big feet. Hello, everyone. It's only us. Oh, Ben and Holly. But you're big. Holly magic dust big. And we're going to stay big. That's very nice. But would you mind lifting your foot up? Oh, I stepped on you. Sorry, Mr Mayor. That's quite all right, Princess Holly. But if you're going to stay big, you'll need to watch those feet of yours. Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny. Bye, everyone. Home time! And that's my mum. See you tomorrow. Feet, feet, feet. Oops, that was close. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Ah! Oh, big people! Sound the alarm! <laughs> big people! Big people! Lock your doors! It's okay, Mum. Oh. It's me. Oh! Ben! How did you get so big? Holly magicked me bigger. Well, you can't come inside like that. Can Holly make you small again? I don't want her to. I've decided to stay big forever. Oh, well, it's your life, I suppose. Do you want some dinner? Yes, please. You've got a lovely large pie for dinner today. There you go. Haven't you got anything bigger? What are you talking about? That's a huge pie. Uh... <laughs> what on earth is going on? It's an indoor thunderstorm. I wonder if that had something to do with Granny. Is Holly coming out to play? Hello, Ben. She'll be down in a minute. Did you hear the storm last night? Hear it? It was in our bedroom. A storm in a bedroom? Cool. It was a magical storm. Good morning, Mother. I already know the answer to this, but who showed them how to make a magical storm? Me. What a surprise. Only a little indoor weather, darling. Nothing to worry about. What else did you teach them? Oh, just a few harmless little spells. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two Hollies? Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning. Morning. And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, wandy. Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye. <laughs> They've disappeared. The twins have escaped. <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the wild. Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm. This is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Uh... Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. Mm. Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. What if something goes wrong? Oh, don't be silly. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, no! What is it, Dad? The engine has broken. We'll have to land. Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. It's just water down there. 
Prepare for a big splash! Look, Dad! A desert island! Good! Everyone out! Wow! A real desert island! Brilliant, isn't it? It is very pretty! What a lovely beach! Stranded on a desert island. Now what do we do? Relax, darling. There are worse places to be stuck. Yes, yes. we can have a holiday here. Who'd like some lemonade? But after the holiday, how do we get home? We could send a message in a bottle. Clever Ben. That's what people on desert islands do. We write a rescue note, put the note in the bottle, and then throw it out to sea. Then all we have to do is wait until someone finds it. Fantastic! And how long does that normally take? They're all asleep. Good. Now it will be much safer. So now, do you go in and get the honey? Not quite yet. We need a fail-safe. A fail-safe? What's that? Extra safety in case our first safety measure fails. Watch this. It's very clever. What's he doing, Nanny? Goodness knows. It'll probably be stupid, but funny. Ta-da! Told you. He's dressed as a bee. Yes, so if the bees do wake up, they'll think I'm a bee and not sting me. You're fail-safe. Yes, Ben. Now I simply fly into the hive. But you can't fly. That's where the elf helicopter comes in. <laughs> Lift me up. Lifting. Bees asleep. Check. Bee costume on. Check. Jar for honey. Check. Go, go, go. Now, watch a beekeeper at work. Calm, safe and sensible. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Lower me in. I'm inside. Take me down. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, all this for a jar of honey. Yes, it's very exciting. Too far. Up a bit. Now left a bit. The bees will wake up soon if he doesn't get a move on. I'm in position. Quick, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. 
Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake... They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ooh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> Now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Oh, Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything! <clears throat> What's for dessert? <coughs> Save your food! Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnomes said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages and eggs and bacon. Is that? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha. Land ahoy! That's the end of the water. The next bit's on land. You mean we have to get out and walk? 
Fear not, me pretty nightingale. Your ship has wheels. It can go on the land. Well, most treasure you'll find is on the land. There's not that much in the sea but water. Look, we're in the big children's playground. Now we look out for the giant's palace. There it be! But that's Lucy's school. Who's Lucy? Lucy's our friend. She's a big girl. Are you sure the treasure would be at a children's school? This here map says the treasure's inside. How can we get in? The door shut and the handle's miles up. And you elves won't want to use magic. That's right. Us elves don't normally like magic. But when there's treasure involved... Rightio! Abracadabra! Ooh. I thought you were just going to make the door open, but a flying boat is much better. It's quiet. No sign of any big people. But all the big children will be here soon. Let's get a move on. The treasure is found by the sign of the acorn. What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. <laughs> We're back. And not a moment too soon. We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes! That's a super idea. No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww. Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, Please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. Come on, Ben. I'll help you pack. Fairies are good at packing holiday bags. And I'm a fairy. I'll help too. <laughs> 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 right. What am I going to pack? Hmm. Probably simplest. Just to pack everything. How about this ball? <laughs> You want to play, don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Catch! Well done! Gaston's great at catching. <laughs> Here, boy! Catch! <laughs> Gaston, are you all right? He's hurt his feeler. We'll have to take him back to the vet. <laughs> Ben, have you packed your holiday bag? Yes, Dad. Good. So now there's nothing to stop us setting off. We can leave as soon as we get back from the vets. Back from the vets? But, but, but... Yes, Daddy. What about Grandpapa Thistle? Grandpapa Thistle? Oh, he's completely bonkers. Whatever you do, don't ask him about his hobbies. Grandpapa! <laughs> Last stop, Granny and Grandpapa. Everybody off. Ooh. Wow, a castle in the clouds. Ooh. Let's ring the bell. No, Ben. Don't touch it. Don't touch anything. I'll ring the bell. Oh, it seems to be an ordinary bell this time. Usually something jumps. Boom! Ah! I am Surpriser the Spider. <laughs> Hello, Mother. Oh, you guessed it was me. Hello, Granny. Darlings, darlings, darlings. Hello, Granny Thistle. Hello, Ben. Welcome to my party. Ah, oh, Cedric. Hello, Millicent. Come along inside, darlings. We're going to have such fun. You've got a rainbow inside your house. Yes, rainbows are so much better than stairs, unless the weather changes. Oh, dear. Looks like a storm is brewing. Oh. Maybe you should think about getting some ordinary stairs one day, Mother. Ordinary stairs? What would be the fun in that? All I 
like a fairy cake. Mmm! These cakes are amazing! Mmm! Yum, yum, yum! Delicious! Of course, they are magical fairy cakes. What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so. I can hear voices! Whoa! That was loud! We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Like that. Oh, no! The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes, deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes. Dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Holly was going to do some magic at my party. Well, I can do some magic tricks. Watch. Here's a coin. Now it's gone. Oh, what's this behind your ear? Do a magic show at my party? Of course I will. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great! I've always wanted to go to a big kid's party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. <laughs> That's the thing. Real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh. 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 Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great. Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray! Thanks, Thanks, Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic and play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We, we promise. promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, <coughs> delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly. Which is a shame, because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. Whoa! 
not. A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Aw, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Ah! Jelly blood! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurised spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. Mmm, <laughs> magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. We are not stuck here forever. Aren't we? No, we have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh... I will open the engine. 